With the Odyssey project, the Rena Italia laboratory challenges one of the most hostile environments, the sea. Rena Italia has always benefited from the collaboration of prestigious research institutes in performing its experiments. Atlas Material Testing Solutions was the certifying body for the Ever Summer and worldwide projects. Whilst on the Odyssey project, the Rena Italia Laboratory is collaborating with CNR, the National Research Council. 12th of March 2014. Reading exposure rack Genoa 1. Solid pine green ceiling A 34.61, 10.51, We are in the port of Genoa at the CNR Ismar Experimental Marine Station run by the Institute of Marine Sciences. It performs research on corrosion, fishing, marine biology and oceanography. Being inside a port, there's a large amount of marine aerosol. We're in an industrial area close to a fossil fuel power station. As well as the exposure, we monitor the environmental conditions, such as rain, temperature, pressure and humidity. We also check the composition of the rainfall and the concentration of chloride. This gives us a good idea of the parameters that influence the behaviour of the materials that we test in this station. Rena Italia's research, especially in natural degradation, is unique because the tests are carried out in environments with very aggressive weather conditions. And in this particular sector, our experiments are unequaled. We are in a CNR pilot boat heading for the Aqua Alta Oceanographic Platform in Venice, an open sea experimental platform about 11 miles from the coast of Chioggia. Today we complete a series of measurements that we have been performing since 2012 to monitor the behaviour of the exposed samples. We have decided to introduce as the reference standard the best systems from those tested in the Rena Italia projects, Ever Summer, Worldwide and Arctic Extreme. This will allow us to assess any improvements that need to be made, it will confirm the results we've achieved in the past and it will also identify new research objectives to formulate increasingly high performance products. We have reached the platform and, as always, the berthing operations take a few minutes. But today the weather conditions are good, so we climb aboard. During the platform visit, the preliminary phase consists of a very general assessment of the state of these panels. We assess the aesthetic aspect, 
and the state of the coating film, the presence of dirt, presence of surface defects, of cracks, and perhaps of the loss of brightness on the panels themselves. Today the panels, apart from some non-climate related effects, are in very good state, excellent state, so we proceed with the cleaning and the measurements. The Odyssey project assesses the behaviour of about 100 different samples to natural exposure. And for the first time in Rena Italia's tests, we have decided to include some different supports. And those are PVC and aluminium. It was a very important decision, this because it allows us to assess how aluminium and PVC are affected by the conditions which they will be subjected to, the exposure conditions. Aluminium can generate blistering effects in the layer between the coating and the support. PVC, being a plastic material, does not present this problem. But we have noticed that the high level of pollution here in the port of Genoa generates a layer of surface dirt that is very difficult to remove. In certain cases, the coating systems on white pigmented wood have responded better to the surface cleaning than the PVC test pieces. The Odyssey project is a fundamental stage of Rena Italia's development of degradation tests in natural environments. The exceptional wealth of data collected will provide a stimulating starting point for the research of Rena Italia's laboratory. The aim remains unchanged, to formulate the best coatings for wood.